Shalom Israel. This is your brother Lloyd from the Ark of Israel uh, here in Washington, D.C. I wanted to, um, first of all, I wanted to uh, do a, um, a, uh, a, not so much a lesson, I just want to, I just want to do a beware. Uh, we got the, you know, I've been in this walk for a long time. I've never been through any camps. I haven't learned anything from a camp. I don't associate with camps whatsoever. I have nothing to do with that at all. Uh, I, I praise the Most High the way He set us up here at the Ark of Israel, and that we err by we 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 err at the side of caution. Uh, I uh, got some very disturbing news about two days ago that a sister was actually killed by a camp member. Um, and uh, we are kind of like here at the Ark of Israel, we are, we are mourning the uh, loss of Sister Joy. Um, even though she was in London when this took place, uh, but IUSC had a camp over there. And uh, of course, uh, due to no structure uh, and not knowing exactly what's going on, I guess I don't know what they've done. But I want to say this right here that uh, we really uh, mourn out and we want to actually ask everyone to pray, you know, for the family. You know, the family is going through a lot right now. And uh, I want to say that all Israel can't be painted with a wide brush. Uh, the uh, uh, camps are not the way to go. It's not something that you want to do. And most of those guys spring off the same doctrine uh, from over in New York somewhere. Uh, I think that the best thing to do is to um, really uh, not turn your back on the Most High because there is a truth in us being Israel. There is a truth in us following the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. And there is a truth when it comes down to the covenant that the Most High have with Israel and with uh, Judah. Uh, so uh, I just want to admonish you all today uh, that um, that uh, everything, well, I'll put it this way, this too shall pass, but Israel as a whole needs to come together to get over, get, get through this. Uh, you got to understand that if we are all Israel, then Israel, you shouldn't be able to go to different places and get different doctrines. You know, Israel should be Israel. Everything should be basically taught the same. I don't say basically, everything should be the same. It shouldn't be nothing different about Israel. You shouldn't have doggish men in Israel. You shouldn't be going around with crayon marriages in Israel. You shouldn't be talking about Joseph being the daddy in Israel. You know, a lot of things you shouldn't be talking about. And a new thing that just came out from this, uh, some, from this other little new camp that just started up is that they doing a, a um, morning to morning Sabbath. That's just that, that that's that's just as crazy as having a um, that that's just as crazy as having a twelve hour Sabbath, you know. Still, even at that, it makes the Most High look stupid, you know. That 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 he would do something that's not powerful, or not strong, or not complete enough for Israel to follow through. Uh, don't be in a big rush to jump behind every camp you see, based on what you what they look like, how they act, what they're wearing how big the camp is, that's not, it's not about that. It's about the information. It's about the truth. It's about your walk. You know, first of all, uh, most, I won't say most, but anybody teaching this word should be living in accordance to this word. They shouldn't be living, saying one thing to you and living a whole different way. You know, we should be, we, we should be as one. We, we should be, um, uh, 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 I'll tell you what, uh, how would you say that? There should be no big eyes and little U's. Everybody should be the same. You know, it, it's just a, a calm feeling that you don't have brother striving against brother, sister striving against sister. One want to do this, one want to do that. No, there should be a complete way of Israel. The same way our forefathers was, was brought in when they did the covenant with the Most High at Mount Zion. When they said they would do they said that they would follow the instructions of the Most High. And that's exactly what we should do. But some toward down the line, uh, Israel, uh, especially in these camps, they brought in this, this, this prideful thing. They brought in greed. They brought in lust. 
They've brought in all of these things they've brought into the camp. Uh, that, that's not right. That's why it, it don't make sense to do a camp. A camp is something like an army. You should never have to have you should never have to have the rank of a captain or a colonel or a sergeant or a private or this right here to be a part of the Most High. The Most High never told us to go out and, and put together an army. Anytime the Most High wanted to put something together, he'll put it together himself. He already told us that it's not our battle, it's his battle. We need to overcome. We need to get into his law, statutes, and commandments. We need to live by them ourselves. We need to check our own lives and not other people's lives, you know, and getting caught in those kind of things. Uh, I wanted to read something from the book of uh, the book of uh, Psalms, uh, and it's Psalms 26. And I'm going to go through from one through 12 uh, with that, and watch how this thing do. This right, this is a this is a a reading, a good read, and it's a reading, a good read that will give you a sense of uh, of, of stability in this walk. Uh, it, it, it tells you how you walk, you know, and, and, and the good thing about it is it's not a long, drawn-out, 30-some verse, uh, 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 you know, reading. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it for a second here, and let's just, let's just touch on it a little bit. We're going to go on down through there. Um, once again, my name is Brother Eliyahu, and I am from the Ark of Israel. Um, <clears throat> the first verse, Psalms, 20, Psalms 26 and 1, it reads, Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in mine integrity. I have trusted also in the Most High. Therefore, I shall not slide. That tells us right there that we don't put our trust in man. We're supposed to put our trust in the Most High. The problem with the camps out here today is they putting them, they putting all their trust in these men. These men are getting rich. IUIC have millions and millions of dollars that they are hiding and doing different things with. We want to make sure that we stay in line with the Most High, okay? Uh, it's just like when the Christian world came through and they were doing a lot of tithing, like these TD fakes, and I don't, I don't keep calling people names out, but like these pastors that's running around and getting money for themselves, they're getting big, and, 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 and the people are suffering, you know? It don't make sense. Uh, but if you trust in the Most High, the Most High would give you your every need. He'll give you all you ever wanted, all you... All, you know, all you're supposed to have. And that second verse says, examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. If you're walking in true integrity, you don't have a problem with someone examining you, especially the Most High. Well, the Most High only, actually. That, that, that's what we want. We want the Most High to examine us, right? So uh, it's not according to what man think, it's, it's, it's according to what the Most High believe. But I tell you this much, if, you can, if we can live in a way that we can satisfy the Most High, there would be no problem with man. Uh, and also it says, and prove me. And then it, it, it says, tries my reins and my heart. Third verse says, for thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. We know as individuals that we're actually walking in the truth. One of the first things we learn when we become Israel is the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. And then we get a little bit farther into the covenant of the Most High. But we know when we're walking out of order. Anytime you're walking out of order, a little small, still voice going to let you know, don't do that. You know, and you just have to be obedient to that voice. The fourth verse says, I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I go uh, in with dissemblers. When you when this ain't going in with the symbols, you know great, you know, you know, you really know that when somebody's not doing things uh in, in a way that they should go, um, uh, you know, uh, they, they're not doing things the way they should. I want to read this uh the definition of dissembler dissembler. It says, it says, conceal one's true motive, feelings, or beliefs, an honest, sincere person. Uh, with no uh, need to dis dissemble. So, um, and then with the, uh, with, the, um, with the object, it says, discuss uh, or conceal a feeling of intentions. So when you know when somebody is, has a mind to do those things which is wrong, 
you know, their doctrine is wrong, you know, their heart is wrong. You should be able to talk to a person, you know, and, and, and it don't take you a good three to five minutes to know what this person is about. It don't, because the Most High can reveal that to you uh, from the beginning. And that fifth verse says, I have hated the congregation of evildoers. We, we all know when someone's doing evil, but number one, check yourself. Make sure you're not a, a, a evildoer. Make sure that your heart is pure. It says that I will not sit with the wicked. Man, I'm telling you, there's some wicked things going in these camps. I mean, they, 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 they partying with each other. They, uh, they, they, they sleeping with the women. They giving them crayon marriages. I mean, just in this case, you know, I'm not saying that, I, I don't know what the situation was with this case, but the first time I heard about it, they said a brother killed his wife. Uh, from what I'm hearing from the mother and, and from what I'm seeing, I don't, I don't see it being that way. I believe they were trying to cover the brother's name as they, as they told the truth about what was going on. But it says, in that sixth verse, it says, I will wash my hands in innocency, so I will come past thy altar, O Lord. Though there are brothers out there, there are sisters out there that know exactly what happened to the sister. They out there, they know it. They are IUIC. They know what happened. But they are trying to get them to, 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 to swear to a, um, a, um, a uh, uh, what is this thing, a um, mm, sign some type of paper, no, a, a disclosure, where they don't uh, sign a disclosure uh, 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 paper. So all of IUIC, if they get them to sign a disclosure, they know people can't talk about what actually went down. But the truth of the matter is, don't sign it, you know. And uh, 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 if you're washing your hand in innocency, you tell the truth about what happened. You walk away from that. Then it says, so I, can, so I, will, so I will come past thy altar. Because at the end of the day, you got to get past the altar. You, you got to come past the altar of the Most High, not of man. Right? The seventh verse says, that I may publish with a voice of thanksgiving and tell, tell of all thy wondrous works. And the eighth verse, says, it says, uh, uh, <clears throat> Yahshua, I have loved the habitation of thy house and the place where thy honor dwelleth. And then it goes down into the ninth verse, and it says, Gather not my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men, in whose hand is mischief, and their white right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in mine integrity, redeem me, and be merciful unto me. My foot standeth in the even place. The only way your foot can stand in the even place, place is that you should you would have watched wash yourself in innocent in, in innocent. Yeah, I can't get the word out. I gotta look back and see the word so I can pronounce it. But it's uh you wash yourself in uh, innocency. If you wash your wash yourself in innocency, then you're great. Don't hold back on the truth. Tell the truth. Expose the devil where he is. The other thing about this is that if you stop supporting these groups out here that you know is not living right, if you stop supporting them with your, with your texts, with your online crap, if you stop, if, if you stop uh, sending them money, you know, these people cannot operate without being funded. If, you're not, if you don't fund them, they don't operate. Shut them down. If you don't shut them down, there's going to be more bodies. There's people right now that's in IUIC that's looking around that may not be saying anything, but you could be next. You could be the very next brother or the very next sister that we'll be reading about. We'll be trying to figure out what happened to you a month later after you came up missing. A month. A month later after you came up missing. You don't want that. Clear yourself today. Talk to the right authorities. Get things in order. <sighs> the 12th verse says, My foot stands in the even place, and in the congregations will I bless your house. May the Most High give a blessing to the word that I have read, but I still want to say to each and every one of you, may the Most High be with you. Pray for Sister, Sister Joy's family. Pray for her family. They're going through a lot right now. That person, it, it seemed to me from what I can see from videos of her behavior, it appeared that that was a very good woman that really thought that she was actually living and doing the right thing under the most high. It really, it, it, you know, I, I think everything in her heart was sincere. There was no reason for these brothers to take the advantage of her that they did and to end her life as such a short uh, term of living. She had a long life to live 
pray for these, pray, pray for this sister, pray for all the sisters. And also pray for the brothers that the brothers can overcome and, and get away from this stronghold. They have strongholds on these brothers. You got to get out of it. You got to get away from it. May the most high be with you. Shalom.